Hey everyone, it is Apostle Michelle Peterson. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm trying to do some catch up on my videos. I got my voice back uh, today basically. I am able to talk and teach and record. So I'm very excited. So today I want to talk about something that the Lord showed me this and wow I mean it blew me away and so I want to share it with you guys and so today basically um, it's about circles the family of God and there are three different circles that the Lord actually told me about that Christians could actually be in one of these circles or more than one of these circles so I'll share it with you coming up Okay, I'll go ahead and tell you about circles. This is basically what the Lord revealed to me and told me about uh, circles. And I have it written down. Circles are connections. Um, the way the Lord uh, made it, I guess, He made us to be connected to people, connected to Him. Um, and a circle, if you notice with a circle, a circle is totally connected all around. You can't see where the circle stops or ends or begins. It's just a perfect uh, circle. It's a perfect connection. When you have a wife and you have a man, they come together. They become one. That's the way the Lord made it to be, that we become one with each other. And um, that's how we get soul ties. Um, that's how we get... Um, you know connected to someone and you have people that are committing suicide or murdering a person if they catch them cheating because of that connection that they've gotten that bond that oneness um, spiritually you know and so the Lord told me about circles circles are connections they're like soul ties you can have a, a good soul tie a godly soul tie or you can have an ungodly soul tie okay and so connections God um, uh, I guess created the connections so that we can be connected to one another and also connected to God so I want to share with you uh, three circles that the Lord actually told me about the first circle that he told me about is the family of God the second circle is called um, the God's ministry circle and the last circle is called the outside circle so this is how this, uh, the Lord gave me um, the vision, the picture of the circle as you see on the, the picture the family of God, we'll talk about the family of God first as you see the family of God circle is the biggest circle Okay, let me share with you what the Lord said about that circle of people, Christians who are in that circle. This is what he said about them. This is the circle of people who seek a relationship with him, with God, and his people, with God's people. Okay, so this is the catch. The people who are in the family of God, they seek a relationship with God, and they also seek a relationship with God's people. Now this is what he said. They love God, they love Him, and they love God's people. They love God's people and they want to be with them and fellowship with them. God's heart is for His people to love one another and to be at peace with one another. So this is pretty cool because when the Lord was telling me this, the Lord was saying, um, this is His family. This is his family. This is what he desires. He wants his people to seek him and love on him. And also to seek to fellowship and, and love on other Christians. You know, that's, that's his family. That's what a family is about when you think about it. If you have children, you want your children to love on you. And you want them to love on each other. You know, I mean, 
families are supposed to stick together and to be one and to love each other. You know, and that's how God wants his family to be also. So this is the circle, the family of God's circle. This is a big circle. So then when you go down and you see the next circle, the next circle is a little smaller. And so the Lord said this circle is called God's ministry circle. Now, Christians can be in each one of the, these circles. They can be in the family of God. They can be in God's ministry circle. This is what he said about the people who are in this circle. He said, this is the circle of people who come together for his ministry, for God's ministry, to do his will for ministry purposes. Okay, so this would be like if you have um, your leaders, your church leaders, you have the elders, you have the pastors, you have the prophets, you have the apostles, you have the, the choir um, team, you have the ushers, you have everyone that's coming together on Sunday or during the week uh, to do ministry, to minister to the people, to make sure everything flows. They're coming together, getting on one accord, whether they like each other or not. They're getting on one accord. They're coming together to do ministry purposes. Okay? This is a circle. This is a circle. This God connects these people when they come together to do ministry. I'll share with you um, uh, what the Lord used to do with our ministry team. Whenever we would come together and it was time for us to minister to someone, especially deliverance, anything, whatever the person need. When we would come together, our first focus would be on ministering. Everyone knew what they were supposed to do, uh, their responsibility and the gifts and everything and the Lord would come in because we were on one accord to minister. He would flow through every single person. Every person was ministering and flowing. We were on one accord flowing with the Lord. So that that's the way he connected us. He connected us as a ministry team. You know, and he flew, he, he flowed through all of us. It was like a connection. You know, sometimes, you know, the enemy would come in and, and break that connection and mess it up. And we couldn't minister effectively when we wasn't on one accord. But as long as we came, when we came together on one accord for that purpose, God could flow and people can get ministered to um, effectively. Okay, so now you have the, the little tiny circle that's on the picture. This is the smallest circle. This A Christian can actually be in this circle. I used to be in this circle. This is the outside circle. The outside circle. Okay? So, I will share with you what the Lord said about a Christian, a person that is in this circle, people who are in this circle. He said, this is the circle of people who only seek a relationship with Him, with God. This is the circle of people who only seek a relationship with God. They don't seek the relationship with His people. They don't think it's important to God that they have a relationship with His people. Okay? I used to be in this circle. I got in this circle because when I first became a Christian, I, the first church I went to, I was serving and doing a lot of stuff and I got hurt pretty bad at that church and it took me a while before uh, I became a member of another church after that but because I got hurt so bad I just basically you know withdrew from churches and it was just me and God you know I drew very very close to God during this time I mean I had to depend on him you know for everything but that is not God's heart because um, it's not about just us and God, me and God, me against the world. If I don't have nobody else in my life, as long as, long as I have God, that's all I need. That's the wrong type of mentality, the wrong type of mentality. And so I was so happy um, that I actually moved from this outside circle to just focus on me and my relationship with God to actually having a family um, mentality instead of me saying me, I am thinking about other people, other Christians, wanting to fellowship with other Christians, you know, wanting to be a part of uh, other Christians and love on them and, and, you know, getting to know them also and just not only focusing on just me and God. 
but this circle is a lonely circle. If you look on there, it's a small circle because it's just you and God. Nobody else is in there with you. So this outside circle, God doesn't want us to be in this outside circle. Um, and something I want to share with you guys. I was in the outside circle, like I said. And the church that I am a member of now, All Nations Church, where my pastors are Pastor Mahesh and Bonnie Chabda. The first time I actually went, like, fellowshiped there, I went to a conference. And when I was in worship was the first time I had actually ever felt in worship instead of it being about me worshiping God. You know how we sing the songs, I don't know what you came to do, but I came to praise the Lord. That's, a, that's, that's exactly the outside circle song where we say, because we're basically saying, hey, I don't know what you came to do, but me and the Lord, that's what it's about. So I was, you know, uh, in that mentality until I went to this church and worshipped with everyone and when I tell you I've never been in a worship service at a church where when I worshipped the Lord I felt like instead of God this is me coming to worship you it was there it was we are worshipping you God it was no I it was one. That was the first time in worship that I had ever felt like every single person in there, we were one. It wasn't me. It didn't have nothing to do with just me and my relationship with God. It was we. That was the first time I experienced that, having that uh, feeling of oneness coming before the Lord. It was, I mean, I've never been on one accord like that. I desired that when I first came into the church because I saw the Acts Church and how they were one. But then when I went into my first church and it was nothing like that, and then all the other churches I visited, it was nothing like that. It was nothing like the first church. And um, so I've always desired that, but I never got that. So I never really expected churches to be like that until my home church where I was, where I am now. That's why I felt it, and that's why the Lord has me there. Um, my mentality has changed from being me and you, God, to we. Even with the ministry team, when we had our ministry team, our focus was we. That's why, you know, everything that I do, I've been so used to doing things with teams, you know, um, training uh, people to do things as on one accord and not just me as an apostle being the one to do everything but activating and exercising and helping everyone use their gifts so that we can go out together and we can minister to a person effectively together so my mindset has been shifted from just me to we as a team a body a family of God so I just want to share this with you which one of these circles are you in you know, are you one of the people that are in the family of God, that circle where you are connected to other believers? You know, you want to go and fellowship with Christians. You want to be around Christians. You know, you want to, um, you know, do things with them, you know. Um, you know, you want to love on them. You want to be at one with them. Are you the type of person that comes to... Um, church and you you minister you minister with the leadership you may not like them you may not even want to be around them but you come and you do it because you know that's the right thing to do or you're called to do ministry and so you're just coming together for that purpose or are you that long wolf are you the black sheep that don't fit in with the sheep are you okay with not fitting in with the sheep and staying you know out alone are you the isolated christian that doesn't feel like you have to fellowship with the other Christians just as long as it's you and God that's the only thing that matters you know whichever circle you are in you a believer I'll tell you this God wants you to be a part of the family circle he wants his family to love one another he wants us to be on one accord he wants us to be one he wants us to be connected completely in that circle no division the circle is not chopped up in little tiny little circles it's totally connected one accord that's what God wants he wants that for you too 
So, like I said, this mentality has to change. But it changes whenever you get around those Christians that are like that. You know, they do want a, the family of God. When you get around the family of God, I'm telling you, they, they draw you in and they make you want to be a part of the family because that's what we desire. We want to be a part of a family. We do. We don't want to be isolated, black sheep. We want to be a part of the family. That's how we're wired. To be one so I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I will uh, post actually I'll just copy and paste it and put it in the description the way the Lord gave it to me so you can copy and paste it the three circles that you know we can be in remember a circle circles are connections okay they're like soul ties so you may not know which one of these circles you're in but you're in one of them. <laughs> so, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, this message. And uh, it was a beautiful revelation to me. And it helps us understand the Lord's heart. He wants the family. Not just one person to be in a relationship. But he wants a whole entire family. That's why he created the human race. We are his prize. All right. God bless.